proportion. Learning objective, we need to understand direct proportionality. We need to understand how to convert direct proportionality statement into proportionality algebraic equation. We need to understand the application of direct proportionality. We also need to understand inverse proportionality. We need to understand how to convert inverse proportionality statement into proportionality algebraic equation. We also need to understand application of inverse proportionality. Inverse proportionality is just inverse proportionality, but direct proportionality can be direct proportionality, proportion, varies, or direct. Proportion is split into two, direct proportion and inverse proportion. Proportionality statement x is directly proportional to y. That's a proportionality statement and we have to write it like that. This is proportionality is just describing the relationship between two variables. In this case, for direct proportionality, when x increases, y increases. When x decreases, y decreases. For inverse proportionality statement, we say x is inversely proportional to y. x is inversely proportional to y, which is written as x proportion 1 over y. What that meant is when x increases, y would decrease. But when x decreases, y will increase. We can turn proportionality statement into proportionality equation. To turn proportionality statement into equation, we change the alpha to equals k. So the alpha will become equals k equals k. And then we write the proportionality as x equals k y. Then we write proportionality here, inverse proportionality here as x equals k times 1 over y. x then equals k over y. We can turn the proportionality equation and rearrange it and find proportionality constant. Proportionality constant in this case is k equals x over y. Likewise, k equals here, k equals x, y. Now what I've done is I've made k the subject here, so I've multiplied both sides by y to get rid of y here. And that's why k equals x, y. If you plot x against y, the graph will go through the origin for direct proportionality. So that's the graph of direct proportionality. But if you plot x against y here, the graph will be a curve. And that's the graph for inverse proportionality. So more example, if we have y is directly proportional to 1 over x, that means y will be equal to k over x, and therefore we can find k, k equals x, y. So that's inverse. But for direct, we can say v is directly proportional to r cube, and that implies that v equals k r cube, and therefore k becomes v over r cube, and that is direct proportionality. Here, this is proportionality statement, and you translate that into proportionality equation by changing the proportionality sign into equals k, and then you translate that into finding k into proportionality constant. So we're going to look at the graphs here. If we plot y against x, is we're going to get a curve like that. What about if we're plotting y against 1 over x? y against 1 over x. Well, what that meant is 
y is now directly proportional to 1 over x 1 over not x y is inversely proportional to x we give you this graph but y directly proportional to 1 over x would then be a straight line through the origin what we've done is we've converted the curve to straight line we've converted the curve to linear by not plotting x but rather plotting 1 over x what kind of graph we're going to get if we plot v against r cube can you see v is directly proportional to r cube so we should get a straight line through the origin if the graph is not through the origin then it is not direct proportionality because it's going through a constant so it has to go through the origin to be direct proportionality